Welcome everyone, these are grammar lessons for year three and four children and this is week seven, lesson two. Now our focus for this week's work was diary writing. We said yesterday that we would be doing some skills work first and we're going to continue that today. So our learning objective for this lesson is to know the difference between first, second and third person. So by the end of this lesson, you will be able to tell the difference between first, second and third person texts. You will also be able to use the correct pronouns depending on which person you need to use in your writing. And you will even be able to write your own sentences in first, second and third person. The skills work that we did yesterday and that we're doing today are going to really help you in your diary writing for the rest of the week. First, second and third person. I, you, he, she, we or they are examples of first, second and third person pronouns. Which should you use when writing and how will you know? Well, often you do it without thinking when you speak, but in writing you can get in a little bit of a muddle. So there are a few basic rules. Diaries and letters are written in the first person. Instructions are written in the second person and reports and often stories are written in the third person. We're going to get to know this a little bit better now so that when you do write, you won't get in a muddle. First person. If you are writing in the first person, you should write as though you are a character inside the story. You should describe how you feel and what you are doing or have done. You will use the pronoun I probably lots and lots. For example, last year I went to Spain with my family. I loved it. And this kind of writing will probably include lots about your feelings and your opinions. Other pronouns that you can use if you're writing in the first person are my, me, mine, we, our, ours and us. Let's look at the second person. If you are writing in the second person, you are talking to the reader directly. And this kind of writing actually doesn't happen very often. You will use the pronoun you. The second person is used a lot in non-fiction as well as in fiction texts. For example, before you begin, make sure that you have all of the tools listed above. The most common time to see second person is in instruction texts. Other pronouns that you might use if you're writing in the second person are your and yours. The third person. If you're writing in the third person, you write about other people or characters. You use the character's name or pronouns such as he, she and they. And this is the person that you use most often in your writing and probably that you read most often too. For example, Michelle sped off at top speed and was soon in first place. She couldn't believe that she was going to win. Other pronouns that you might use if you're writing in the third person are her and hers or his and theirs. Right, a little challenge for you then to see if you can remember that information. I want you to decide if the following sentences are in the first, second or third person. Sophie was going to the cinema to meet her friends. What do you think? Well done. That sentence is written in the third person and you can tell that because we have the character's name, Sophie, and we've also got the pronoun her. 
What about this one? I couldn't believe what I was seeing. It was incredible. First, second or third person? Well done. It's written in the first person and we know that because we have got the pronoun I used twice in this sentence. What about this one? Where shall we go now? wondered Tim and Holly as they sat in their car. Be careful, this one's tricky. Well done, it's written in the third person. Although the speech includes the pronoun we, which is a first person pronoun, the whole sentence is written in the third person because it uses the names of the um, characters, Tim and Holly, and it also has the pronoun there. What about this sentence? Do you believe in ghosts? Well, after reading this story, you will. What do you think? Well done. This one is written in the second person because it uses the pronoun you. What about this one? As I walked into my new school, my stomach churned and my hands began to shake first, second or third person. Well done. This one's written in the first person and you can tell that because it uses the pronouns I and also my in this sentence. Last one. Are you an early bird or are you a night owl? Is this written in the first, the second or the third person? Well done. It's written in the second person because it uses the pronouns you. I hope you got those all right. If you didn't, you might want to skip back through the video and listen to the information again and have another go because it's really important that you know the difference between first, second or third person before you move on to your next task. If you did get them all right and you understand the difference between first, second and third person, then you're ready to move on. There are some sheets for you to complete. There are three different levels of sheet. You don't have to do them all. Pick the one that fits with your ability and complete it. And if you want to, and if you have time, you might also want to have a go at the BBC Bite Size activity how to write in the first, second or third person. If you Google that, you will just find it or the link is here for you if you need it. Uh, there's some more information and some quizzes and some games for you to play. Have fun and I'll see you tomorrow.